Good evening and welcome to UTV Live. We start with some breaking news this evening and a police officer has been critically injured in a car bomb attack in Oma. The explosion was reported in the Highfield close area of the town at around four o'clock this afternoon. Good evening and welcome to UTV Live. One story dominates this evening's news, the death of a police officer in Oma. Constable Roman Kerr was murdered yesterday when a bomb exploded under his car as he prepared to drive to work. The bomb which killed Constable Ronan Kerr contained one pound of high explosive. Roman didn't stand a chance when half a kilo of high explosive detonated when he got into his car to go to work in Enniskillen. This afternoon, the man leading the murder inquiry said Ronan was brutally and grotesquely killed by terrorists. Good evening from Oma. It's just over two days since Constable Ronan Kerr walked out of the door behind me, stepped into his car, and was murdered by dissident Republicans who had planted a booby trap. Ronan Kerr should have had a bright future ahead of him, but that future was wiped out in an instant here on Saturday afternoon by a dissident Republican bomb. Ronan's remains are expected to be returned shortly to the family home near Burra. Niall Donnelly. UTV Live. Back in March 2009, Catholic policeman Stephen Carroll was gunned down in Craigavon. And now Ronan Kerr is the second officer to lose his life at the hands of dissident Republicans in two years. But Terry Spence says his officers will not be deterred from their duties by this terror campaign. night Ronan came home to those who loved him ahead of his funeral tomorrow. Thousands are expected in Burra. Constable Kerr's police hat and gloves lay on top of his coffin. Proud of his uniform and the difference he would make. Family, friends and colleagues realising on his 25th birthday cake. Rolling in the deep was the music to his ears. He never thought what was next would bring us to tears. Meanwhile, hundreds of people have been signing books of condolence opened in Oma, in a town already left scarred by the real IRA bomb atrocity 13 years ago. The books have given shocked locals a way of expressing their sympathy with Ronan Kerr's family. Messages of sympathy for a grieving family. Oma, a community united in condemnation. Among those signing the books of condolences for Constable Ronan Kerr, pupils from Oma Academy, too young to remember the worst of the troubles, they have now been exposed to the violence of the past. We really don't want to go back to the way it was before and it's just feelings we're showing support of the whole community. doesn't matter what religion you are, you still just feel sorry for his friends and family because it's just horrible. For basically no reason he was killed and a young life was taken away from his friends and family. I can't imagine anybody a few years older than us that happens to them for no good reason. It's, it's scary. 